Welcome again. We are here to discuss a sacrificial anode. Where we can find it. Also, we need to locate the ballast sensors because the reading is inaccurate. Water ballast sensors and also draft sensors. We are here in dry dock but to be safe check all conditions by safety officer all papers are cleared and ready to go as you can see this is the two sensors which is located at the deck and then this is the transmitter for draft sensor and water ballast sensor but the probe is located inside the tank sample water ballast tank one it's located inside that is sealed and electronic type not the bubbled one to locate the sensor we need to go inside the void space this hatch is going to void space it is cleared and already vented as you can see there is a wires that is for the sensors going to the tank and also the draft we need a ladder to access that one at the side that is the tank our cargo tanks okay we will go we will go down and that pipe that is the support for the cables of the probe we need also scaffoldings if we use to change the sensors because the wire is secured on that pipe <coughs> The other side is port side sensors and here is starboard side sensors. In our right side this is our cargo tanks. This is the view when you go to the void space and this is the outside of the cargo tank. Okay, we need to locate the cables going down. This is the bottom part or lower part of the void space where you can locate or see the lower part of the cargo tank. Also in the lower part of the void space where we can locate the manhole cover of the ballast tanks. And the right side, this is the clear view for the top of the cargo tank. This is the cables and then hydraulic pipes. Okay, 
this is the clear view uh, lower part of the void space where we can find the manholes this one we will find the manhole this is the manhole for water ballast tank and then this is the sensor going inside to the tank At the lower part of the void space where we can see also a level high level switch float switch this is also a important thing for safety this is at the starboard side sensor going to the tank We already opened the manhole and it is vented for a day. It also safe to entry because this is already checked. Already prepared and we need to locate where is the position for the sensor. This is the sensor for ballast. it's too muddy sometimes the sensor is full of mud that's why the reading is not accurate but in this case it's clean and we test it has a instruction how to test by measuring the output of the sensor at that side as you can see that is the valve for the sensor of draft if you change the sensor of the draft you can control by closing this one but right now we overhaul this valve and check the valve set so that if in case we need to change the sensor we can isolate this one by doing manually close and also the hydraulic isolation valve must be closed that manual isolation is connected to the sensor that is the sensor which is attached to the isolation valve manual isolation valve this is the clear view of the sensor That's it. that is attached to the isolation valve manual isolation valve
at the side of the tank where we can find and locate the sacrificial anode. What is the purpose of sacrificial anode? Sacrificial anode are used to protect metal structures for corrosion. Means to avoid corrosion for the tanks. Sacrificial anode work by oxidizing more quickly than the metal. Means the sacrificial load will deteriorate first before the metal. In our case, our sacrificial zinc anode is zinc, but sometimes the sacrificial anode composed of zinc or aluminum or magnesium, but in our ship is zinc anode. This anode is rectangular and installed with a bracket, secured with a bracket. It has a different in the market, it has a different kind of zinc anode, <coughs> circle or oblong or bolted, it depends. But the main purpose of that is the same. Okay, we already secured and then check all the wire bands. And then ready for service. Okay, that's all. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe also. And reminders you need to check the condition of the tanks and wear gadgets. Always bring gadgets to check the condition and oxygen content of the tank. And also don't forget your lookout. Stay safe and hope this video helped you. And thank you for watching.